Good, good morning. I'm called Che Kenneth. I want to testify how God protected my life from fire. But before I start, I want to first of all thank God for the grace He has given this man of God. He is saving our life, rebuking us and correcting us. I want to thank God for that. Before I continue, I want to say the day, uh, uh, Monday last week, the 20, 22nd, when I came back from work, when I came back from work, I sat in the house, I was tired. So I say I should warm something and eat. I put the pot on the fire. I put on the gas. I just lied that I should rest because I was tired. It was 5 o'clock in the evening. I discovered that I've gone deep to sleep. And I had a dream. I saw me and my younger brother, my junior brother. Enemies were coming to attack us. He was outside. I was inside the house. Then one of them dressed like a madman. Coming. I was struggling to convince him then the others are creeping in the bush and coming so i was inside the house i watched them creeping in the, on the, in the through the window i shout as i shout i wake up from bed discovered the whole house was dark with smoke it means that the house was about to catch fire so i shout i open the door smoke start going out you can see from the image the pot that i put on the fire it all burned the food the, the, the potatoes burn then I turned I discovered that there was a sticker that I put inside that house it's at that place it saved me people of God people of God who I am today I was a sinner before I came to this place I used to go to bar I used to drink alcohol. How many, how many bottles? I drink three, four. You and get drunk. I will not jump, but I'll be off. Uh, you're off. I'll drunk. Let me say drunk. Because I'm not normal. But the day I stepped my leg here, these spiritual parents that God has given us, they arrested me. God used them to change my story. After that, it is blessing, 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 blessing upon my life. I cannot even name them. I do not even deserve to they, I mean I will not explain. So what I want to give an advice to all those that are watching me around the world, even my family members. I want to advise them that they should turn away from things that does not please God. If you are drinking alcohol, Stop and give your life to Christ. If you are you are going to nightclub, you are doing the things that I used to do before. Stop. You we don't know how to stop them. Come to this place. This the general here will help you. You stop it. The last one going to little doctors. Don't go to little doctors, they cannot save you. Even you are here, you are a worker. Your job cannot save you. You need Jesus Christ. Meeting doctor cannot save you. You are a thief. Come and give your life to Christ. That job that you are doing, he cannot save you. People of God, come to Christ. Those that Jesus said, those that are carrying heavy load, they should come to Christ. He will give them rest. I want to say, that for protection we cannot protect ourselves even your educational level cannot protect you the bible says in exodus chapter 13 verse 22 when jesus when god take the israelite out of egypt he was moving in front of them like a pillar of cloud during the day in the night he was moving to be with them like a pillar of fire to protect them we need god to protect our business we need God to protect our educational career. We need God to protect our finance. Stop going to little doctor. They will fail you. Stop tying chains, champs, 
around your waist, they will not help you. My brothers and my sisters, let's thank God and obey the rebuke of these spiritual parents. It is rebuke that has made me who I am. Even the word that God gave me, there I cannot count the number of times they rebuked me. Amen. I thank you. I just pray we respect them and obey them in Jesus' mighty name. I leave you. I leave you with, with Second Chronicles chapter twenty, verse twenty. When you go, you read them. You read it. It will help you to know who a prophet is. They will not reach. Tell them they will not go and reach. The Chronicles chapter twenty, verse twenty. It says we should believe in God. We should trust God and believe in our prophet what the prophet says so if we believe in what they are telling us we will prosper that is the only way that we can prosper i talk this one give it to my family that when i leave yonder duala and coming to worship here some of them say there are many churches there why are you coming to bamenda i want to tell you where there's a raw message you will not fall into a pit are you telling them? I'm telling everybody watching me. It's because of the wrong message that is dragging me here. So that I should, I should be rebuked. Then. I want to be rebuked and correct so that I will enjoy the blessings of Abraham. I thank you. I thank you. That's the end of my. Bye bye, bye bye. Go, 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 go.